Hi guys, it's Lynn Superrock from Simply Pretty Stuff. Today we're going to learn how to put a jump ring onto a charm. I have the charm done. It's already cleaned and all the residue from the flux is, is off and the metal is nice, smooth and shiny. Then I'm going to um, get something to solder on and I use a solderite board. You can use a cookie sheet or a kiln shelf or just a protective surface when you solder. I have a medium jump ring and then some flux brushes. This one has long bristles but I prefer the short bristles so I just cut off the long bristles and I use the other brush. And then you're going to need flux and I use the water soluble kind and it's also lead free. You can get this flux at a hardware store um, so it's pretty easy to find. I have a jig that you can also purchase if you're interested. It's adjustable and I use it instead of a third hand to do these types of projects and other charms uh, in soldering. I can also fill bezels with resin so it's pretty handy. Today I'm going to stuff a little cloth down in here to protect the glass surface of the charm but it holds it really nice and snugly because I have it closed and pinched pr uh, pretty tight to accommodate the charm. I can be hands free now and use my uh, hand for soldering and holding a jump ring. And then you're going to use a mask or maybe um, if you have a, f a fume extractor or just some ventilation it's important when you solder to have that. My soldering iron, it's a quarter inch tip. It's, it's um, a soldering iron with a stand and a sponge. You don't need a very big tip for this project. I'm going to clean it at the end. That's very important. I use quick clean and a toothbrush um, just to scrub off the flux residue because you don't want it to stay on the charm. And I use this uh, old pair of pliers and as you'll see the flux can uh, eat away metal and that's what would happen with your charm if you didn't clean it well. So the jump ring um, that I have I'll pull out and focus a little better. You'll see in a second here, um, oh yeah here's the, duh, here's the solder. It's lead free and it's silver bearing. Um, so you're going to want to just take a little bit of that off and use a dollop motion real quick and that solder sticks in a little mound on top and that's just the way you want it. Now I can paint it with flux because I'm going to want the jump ring to sink down and adhere to that solder metal. And Now you'll see the jump ring with a split. So if you use jump rings that have splits you're going to want to um, take, it, take the jump ring and, and turn it facing downwards. So you're going to flip this so that that split is on the bottom. So when you put it in the solder that'll be covered and then it'll be secure. It won't come apart. So here we go close up and I will stick the jump ring on top of the solder mound and just be steady with it. It takes practice but just be steady and just touch your iron to the metal and it'll sink right down in. But don't pull your pliers away too quickly. Just leave them there for a second or two so that it solidifies and you can pull out your charm and you have a perfect join. One of the bigger mistakes people do make is when they touch the soldering iron with the soldering iron um, they pull it away too fast or they pull the pliers away and their jump ring falls off. So I just added a little cleaner to the brush and I'm going to scrub it up here. You can just gently go over the ring and where the flux was and then clean with a, a soft cloth. And if you need to repeat that, go ahead because you want that flux removed completely. And there you have it.